Guys, it's gotten cold. <laughs> and I've just put more tops on and I look like the Michelin man. It is really cold. I can't read with gloves on, otherwise I would have had gloves on too. Cold. It's, it's literally... 12 degrees, but it feels like 9. Welcome to the third and final part of the Tandem Read Along for The Instrumentalist by Harriet Constable. Um, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I'm Jacques. So nice to meet you. And if you're returning, thank you so much. It's good to have you. Um, please, you know, while you're here, hit that subscribe button. And hit the notification bell. So that you don't miss a video from me. Um, let's get into it again, shall we? <laughs> okay, so parts one and part two should be up already on the thing. Not should be up, they are up already. Please, if you haven't seen this part, do familiarize yourself with those two parts. Um, I will link part one up in the cards as well as down in the description box below so do be sure to go click there again this video contains spoilers so this is your spoiler warning uh, this video contains spoilers okay so before we get into the day nine stuff hmm, I Going to insert challenge for day nine. <sighs> of course you did. I typical man. <sighs> mm -hmm. I see your true colors shining. Oh my god, how typical is that? You know? Cheer. Sure. Mm. Well. And then, we shall see. Okay, so we were supposed to, this is our reaction for what happens. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> okay, so now, Anna Maria has attended a concert. Okay. And remember earlier, there was that slight about, oh, she's better than you, to Vivaldi. Which, which caused some lash back. So now they have a concert and they started calling her maestro. Okay, so now she's starting to get acknowledged as maestro, which is amazing. Okay, and she's working really hard. But then, so she decides now, you know, you can, you can, you can be a maestro. You can only publish once you're a maestro. Okay, that's, that's how things work. So she decides that she's going to take a chance and she's going to take her work and give it to you him so that you know they can get published and stuff uh, he likes it and he works with it and they do a thing and then they do it the next concert and then they play the piece and what does he do or more likely what doesn't he do he doesn't credit her he takes the credit for himself so after the concert she tries to but this is in 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 the company of Tini and, and Corelli and, and the greats that she's been playing. They come to watch her. And they're patrons of the, the, of the Piggly, of course. So, as she's trying to say, she wants to go and tell them. But of course, Vivaldi has uncanny timing and he takes her away. And blah, 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 blah. So she bursts and has a fit and says, you know, da, da, da. Why are you doing these things to me? What is the thing? This is how it's supposed to work. And like, he says, no, but you're a girl. And this is how the things work. And the review also that came out afterwards says that she's the best female violinist in Venice. And of course, she couldn't understand why they had to add her gender. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. She it's a man's world, it's a dog -a dog world, as girls have their place, she can, she can play, she can be the best, but how dare she want to publish? It's, it's, she can't do that, she's not male. Um, all the, all the team pieces that they're playing are all by men, but doesn't she understand? <laughs> so, of course, this is not good enough for her, she throws a pit, she goes to a thing, she breaks all the stuff, 
and and da 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 da, da and she has now left the orphanage. She walked out, and that is where we are. So that piece that I showed you for the challenges they want that us to show for day nine, our reaction to chapter twenty two. Yeah, so we just stopped the video, just stopped recording, and it said the maximum recording time reached, which means I filled up my space. So now I cleared my space so I can record. I had stuff in the recycle bin, in the trash, because what I have to do is I have to make sure I don't delete stuff. If I'm using it for a video that's not, that I'm, that I'm not done editing, because if I delete something, then it comes out of that video, obviously, and then... Fine, so I have to put stuff in the trash, check the videos, make sure it's okay. Put stuff in the trash, check the videos, make sure it's okay. Which I did, and then I just forgot to delete. <laughs> so there's that. And that brings us to the end of day 9. We are now going to go on to day 10. And yeah. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> so I've just finished reading the past for day 10 and, and Anna Maria is on the street and she doesn't know what she's going to do and she's scared and she's alone and she's afraid now somebody starts to recognize her so she needs to go and find and do something about it so she steals a mask from the market and I mean just quick and done. It's like, where did you learn that? Seriously, where did you learn that? But now that you're not there. So she puts mask for her and she tries to figure out what she's going to do. And as she's wondering where she's going to get money, she really she feels that she has a necklace. So she, the only thing that she has with her, you know, sometimes people can be silly, um, is the necklace. She didn't take any of the other stuff that she has. So she goes and pawns that. And she, eventually she finds a room. Okay, cool. But they don't provide her food. So what she does is she has to go out and she has to go find, buy some food. So what she does is, against a bit of judgment, she leaves a violin in the room. So as she goes, she goes and gets some food and la 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 la. She's eating it and while she's eating and sitting there, she, she hears music. And of course, she's drawn to the music. She always is. So she follows the music. And then she comes to this carnival-like place. La 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 la. And she follows three violinists and they go into this cave. And this is where you get, you know, you know the Lotus Hotel in mythology where you go in and you lose all the time and you spend years and years and years and years. Well, something happens, they give her something to drink, she loses her memory, she spends literally three days and three nights there. Eventually she gets out of the pond because she goes, she can't get the stuff. Um, she can't get her stuff. They, they've taken her. It's been two days. She paid for one. They took a violin because she left her stuff there for days. But she bumps into Elisabetta Marcini, Marcini, and, and, you know, it's like a rival or enemy. The girlie from before the lady. And offers to help her. So Elisabetta gets her violin back and puts her up. Gives her shelter, gives her place to stay, and la la la. Mm. So that's where we are. So now they've been talking. And she's told Anna Maria a few life truths. Anna Maria has started to, to listen and to, to realize you're just a girl, is what she gets told. You're just a girl. What did you expect? <laughs> this is the 1700s. These things are what they were. So, yeah. So now Anna Maria has to do something, she has to do something, doesn't know what to do, so they can come up with a plan. 
that's the end of today's tense reading. And now for the questions for day 10. Um, they want to know what do I think of what Elisabetta has shown Anna Maria. Now, Anna Maria does need a wake up call. Okay, yes, girls, 17, they, they orphans, they live a very sheltered life, you know, but still, she sees things and then she puts it aside because of the determination to be the best and to keep a place and to so on and so forth. But now, her stubbornness needs to come down a notch. So Elizabeth has told her stuff, told her like, just a girl, what do you think was going to happen? Um, this is how life works. But what also what happened is that Elizabeth took Anna Maria through Venice, outside Venice, and all around to every single brothel until the last one where they found a match to her token that her mother left for her. So she learns about her mother, mother, her mother, <laughs> and so on and so forth. And, and Elizabeth. Uh, Sorry, and Anna Maria feels better about herself because, you know, she now has a history. Um, so I think that is perfect. What she did was, was the most wonderful thing. She found her mother for her. Um, and also telling her the truth is, you know, doing right by anybody. So telling Elizabeth she's 17, she needs to know. You know, you need to open your eyes. You can't, you're not getting any younger. And and from now on, because you're not in the bed, you're not being sheltered, you need to keep your eyes open, keep your wits about you, and know what you're going into. Um, and she's now forced to sit down and come up with a plan. They need to know what's going on. So, it's perfect. Elizabeth is correct. Um, but oh, she, oh, she also told Anna Maria that even though she doesn't have money, she does have power. Her music is her power because, you know, Anna Maria is like, I'm famous, I have a right, la 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 la. No, no. No, no. You actually have zero rights because you're a girl. Zero rights. So either, if you don't want to end up like that, then you, you know, in the brothels, then you need to figure out what you're going to do. So, perfect advice, perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's awesome. I agree with Elizabeth. So, yeah. Then they want us to know, they want to know, um, they want to know, they want us to predict what's going to happen now in the future. So now, um, Anna Maria has been talking about how she left, you know, her friends and so on and so forth and la la la. So she's come to some realizations and some truths. Yeah, and, and also things about herself. So, what she wants to do is she wants to go back into the theater to get Paulina out. You know, and, and, and Kiara out maybe and, and whatever. And then she's going to have a concert. And, and hopefully uh, give her old teacher a flip the bird. So, then now she's just asked, you know, Elizabeth to put another favor. As in monetary wise, so that she can put in a concert. So now we're gonna see how it's gonna go. Okay, so she's obviously gonna go and get out. She's gonna get some girls, and they're gonna put on a concert. And whether the concert's going to be a hit or not, we don't know. But I'm assuming it's going to be a hit. I'm assuming because you know it is her story. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, there's no creative challenge for day ten, for which I'm eternally grateful. <laughs> they can be daunting sometimes, they really can. Um, and then we have day 11 left, the last bit of the book, and uh, that's about 60 pages, which is okay. And then there's one more challenge, and then it's a review day after that, and then they want us to do another challenge. Mm, 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 mm. So, yes, I'm gonna get on to that. I shall see you again when I see you again. Bye.
Hi. <laughs> it's review day. Um, yeah. I didn't get it finished yesterday, but it's fine. <coughs> Pardon me. So I'm outside because it's warmer outside than inside. And I'm done. So... The thing for Dario Leban wants to know, what did we think of the ending? Okay, so... It's part 11, I mean, yeah, day 11, till the end of the book. So like I said, we're going to put in performance, get some of the girls, and la 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 la. So she does that, she goes back to the orphanage. Um, okay, the ending didn't end exactly the way, you know, we were hoping it would end, I think. But also, it's a very powerful ending. Sometimes there is power in submitting and also you can find a power working within your limitations Just because you have boundaries doesn't mean you can't work within them There are loopholes, etc, etc, etc So, yeah, I'm not going to spoil the ending for you They do have the performance um, Obviously, and it was a huge success And they did put him in the place so there is that to look forward to um he in the meantime also there's the little girl that has not taken Anna Marie's place and, and she's 13 and her name just happens to be Anna <laughs> you see where this is going and and she's now being taught giving proper lessons and so on and so forth and she Anna Marie found out that Anna is going to go with Antonio Vivaldi to Venice forever they're not going to come back so she's trying to save Anna as well on top of that while she's doing this thing it's a very very good book this is exquisite some some sometimes it reads like a simple like piece of music like you like it's flowing it's, it's just mm, chef's kiss the writing is mesmerizing it's just amazing so what's gonna happen is um we're supposed to put review day make a real whatever with the book and la 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 and then put up our review for day 11 we need to put up a post or a reel whatever and then telling our people where we can find where we can buy the book in english or go to a bookstore and see the book and then say go to this bookstore i'm too far away from bookstore i've got second hand bookstores there but me i doubt they have the instrumentalists um I'm not going to bother going there to look. So I'm going to combine the two. And my review is not going to go up today or tomorrow or the next day. Sorry, it's just, it's going to be a while. I've got stuff to do still. So I'm going to combine the two. Um, yeah. I'll put the final, the final reel in, in here. review up on Goodreads and my blog and my Instagram soon 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 five stars this book is exquisite absolutely loved the entire entire journey it's very very good um, I do recommend it debut novel so yeah so you've heard all my thoughts and uh, you know this is how it is so how else am i to convince you if i haven't convinced you already to go and read this book go and get it go and get it go and get it i want just as an aside <laughs> since you've got the real you can go and check out if you're in south africa you can go and check out bargain books and you can go and check out exclusive books and you can go and check out wordsworth books they should have the instrumentalist if they don't have you can ask and they might be able to sell something for you either from another store or they will special order for you 
you can also go directly to Jonathan Ball Publishers, uh, who is the distributor of this book. Um, and you can check the website or you can send them an email and they will either, you know, let you know where you can get it or uh, maybe possibly purchase it online. I don't know. You can check. So, yeah, this, this book is just so awesome. Not awesome in a thing, but it's a really good book. It's a really good read. Um, I would say it's a fun time. It's not a fun time, but I mean, it's, I had a fun time with this read along. That's what I could say. Okay, but I recommend this. Do go and read it if you, even if you're not into music, um, that's fine. If you like historical fiction, if you like, uh, this is a coming of age story. It's, it's a, a story about overcoming your obstacles, um, working within your limitations, you know, finding your power, even though you know you don't have, your, you think you don't have power. Money isn't necessarily power. So, it's all of these things. This is a very determined FMC. She she is annoying a little bit. Um, and not too much. But um, she does make some silly, silly choices. And she does, you know, learn a lot about herself. So, this is a really good read. I do recommend it as I said. Five well-deserved stars. Go get it now. Again, thank you to Tandem Collective Global and Bloomsbury Publishing for including me on this read-along and sending me this book. Um, and also, I got the art from the uh, Bloomsbury Big Night Inn, which happened earlier this year, uh, uh, in, in March, so do go check that out. Um, I will try and link it up here. Um, uh, otherwise, I will link it down in the description box below. <laughs> If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye from the spring in Cape Town. Mm.